Hi guys, today I would love to share with you this beautiful car that you can use as a toy or I'm using as a Christmas decoration because I want to add Christmas tree on top and in my next video I will share with you the pattern of a Christmas tree that is super simple and fast because I love just quick and easy patterns that's why even this car I wanted something fast, beautiful and not so difficult Anyway, the car is uh, more complicated than simple projects. That's why I will write the pattern for the car. So for you, it will be easy to follow the video and also see the written pattern. So in my um, tutorial, I wanted just to explain to you clearly that if you will not uh, keep your attention on increases, your car can have a weird shape. So I will give you my instructions, but in any ways, your main idea must be that while you crochet, you must see that the car is straight, that the corner is straight, that it, it's not of these kind of shapes. And if you see that it's going the wrong shape, try to undo and see how it works. Even when I will explain to you in the video here, like how to switch to the car side when we will start to crochet you must always follow my instructions but also see that it's straight because if you crochet and the car will start to curve like this it means that your car at the end will not be so beautiful you have to keep it straight so maybe sometimes because we crochet with different tension um, you know, different yarn size, hook size, maybe your car, you have to uh, slip stitch and a bit move to an, uh, to some few stitches a way to make the corner straight. You will see, you will understand while you crochet how to, for example, when we will have to put here the engine, where is the engine part or where is the boot, you have to be sure that when you move here is straight if you move here and this part will not be so straight if you will start to make these uh, stitches 10 stitches and it will be somewhere here then the car will have really well shaped so you can maybe move a few stitches to make it straight and keep the same number of stitches but just move a bit that could be possible. In general, if you follow the instructions and follow the pattern, you must have no problem. Just be attentive to make right increases and I'm sure you will get a beautiful car. All the notes, uh, tips I will write on my blog. So in case you have some problems, you can read and maybe adjust something. Just as I say, we are trying to crochet a car and uh, I notice different types of yarn, hook size and tension could be that the shape can be a bit different. So just be attentive and uh, if you have any problems, you can also always write in the comments below. And you can use really any yarn, just use the hook size smaller than recommended because you must have a neat stitches without big holes. The smaller size hook is the only tip that I give you. And of course you can try, experiment, do, undo and I'm sure at the end it will be super nice. Let's get started. We are going to start with a slip knot. Just wrap around your finger, make a loop, insert the hook Grab the yarn and pull the two ends. And we are going to, uh, to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we are going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. So one and two. 
and make one single crochet. Make single crochet until the end of the chain. So two, three, insert, grab the yarn, oh. and into the very last chain or the first one we are going to make um, increase of three single crochet. One, two, and three, all in the same one. So now we are going to work on this side. We are going to make three single crochet and then increase. So insert your hook. We just mirror this side. So make three single crochet. Here was our first one and into the same where we had already one, we make another two. One and two. Uh, you can count and you must have 12 single crochet. After that, you slip stitch and chain one. Row one is done, is an oval. So now I chain one and I start row two. We are going to make, so make a chain and now we are going to make three single crochet, one, two, three, and then an increase. One, two, three, and an increase. Then one single crochet into the next stitch and an increase. Now we are going to make three single crochet. One, two, three. Then we are going to make an increase. One single crochet into the next stitch. And where we had the chain one, here is our chain one, we make another single crochet. So we have an increase. We slip stitch where we had our chain one. And we are starting row three. Chain one. That's how your oval looks now. And you must have 16 single crochet. We are starting row three. I already slip stitch and chain one. Now we are going to make three single crochet. One, two, three. Now we are going to make an increase. One, two single crochet into the same stitch. Then make three single crochet. One, two, and three. Then an increase again. One, and two. Then you are going to make three single crochet. One, two, three. Now we are going to make an increase. One, two, then again three single crochet. One, two, three. 
and where you had the slip stitch this is chain one you make an increase into the same stitch where was the slip stitch you make another single crochet now you can slip stitch into chain one and we can start row four after row three you must have 20 single crochet from row four to row six we are going to make an increase here on the sides three single crochet into the same stitch to make a square shape so row four make four single crochet after you chain one if you want you can make it a bit bigger chain one then make four single crochet one two three four and here you make three single crochet into the same stitch two and three into the same stitch and then make four single crochet one two three and four now you are going to make three single crochet into the same stitch one two three then make four single crochet one two three and four now make three single crochet into the same stitch one two three now you are going to make four single crochet one two three four and then increase where you had this chain one so this is chain one you make another two single crochet into that stitch so in total with chain one you will have three slip stitch with chain one and now you must have 28 single crochet and we are going to start our row four now our oval get in square shape so just chain one so just chain one and the other two rows i suggest you to crochet by yourself they are super easy just when you have the center stitch here when you have three single crochet into the center you make another three single crochet to make a corner so after rows uh, five you will have 36 single crochet and after row uh, six you will have 44 single crochet so all the same you make for example in row five you make six single crochet and then an increase of three into the corners and then into row uh, six you will have eight single crochet and then increase in the corners and you just slip stitch and the square is ready the roof is ready and we are starting the windows when we are starting the windows after the roof is finished you can undo the uh, you can i mean before you slip stitch so just insert and grab the yarn the white color yarn or any yarn you want to use for the windows also the gray one is very cool and slip stitch with the white color yarn and then you are going to work like chain one you are going to work into the back loops only so into here and make one single crochet into each stitch without increase you will have 44 single crochet and 
and after you finish this row make six rows for both loops another six rows but not into the back loops into both loops and then your windows be done and i show you how to continue i have finished to crochet the windows now i put it on the other side and i'm going to start to crochet the sides of the car so here we have our corner so that's how it looks like here i cut the white yarn uh, is our increase of three single crochet if you put it on the other side you can easily see how the stitches are so you find the this stitch the left one go down 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 and here you insert your hook and grab the main color so now i'm going to make chain one and then we make 10 single crochet and we must finish where the other increase starts so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and the tens the ten stitch if you go 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 from this on the right you go down so here is the ten stitch and now we are going to make on the other side so just turn your work and make 10 single crochet chain one insert your hook into the next stitch and make 10 single crochet and like that going this side then turn your work going the other side you are going to crochet so we are going to count one two and in total must be seven rows and then we do exactly the same on the other side I have crochet seven rows in total so one and six more and now we do the same for this side of the car so just cut the yarn leave the tail to work inside later and then here we do all the same we find these three the increase of three then we find this left stitch go down and insert our yarn in this stitch so like this it's here i insert the beige and i do all the same i make 10 single crochet until the increase here so just make all the same for seven rows of one single crochet well i have finished the two sides of the car they are absolutely the same seven rows of 10 single crochet like that and now i'm going to cut the yarn and we start to crochet the car all around so here you see can cut this yarn probably and you see i have here the stitch where we start with the beige and here with the new one i insert the beige close by so here 
insert and I will crochet all around here. So let's make four single crochet. Three, four. Now make an increase. Then make single crochet. Another single crochet. Then an increase. And then four single crochet without increase. Here we make our fours. Now we are going to make six single crochet. We have here six rows and into sevens we make three single crochet into the same stitch. So one Four. Five. Six. And into the sevens. We are going to make three single crochet. Then make eight single crochet and then increase here of three single crochet. So after I crochet all around here, eight single crochet, three single crochet into the same stitch, six. Now we're switching back to the windows, all the same like we did here. First we make four single crochet, one. Two, three, four, then make an increase, one, two, then make one, sorry, one, two, Two single crochet and then increase again. And finish with four single crochet and then do the same like we did there. Six single crochet, three single crochet into the corners, eight, three, six, and we meet here to restart the row. So right now I'm here where we started 
we have to slip stitch and finish the row to restart row 2. So now I'm going to chain 1. And uh, before that, count that after row 1 you have 80 single crochet. And then chain 1 and make 4 single crochet. So we have two, three, four, then an increase, then make four single crochet, one, two, three, Four, then an increase, and four single crochet. One, two, three and four when we are switching to the these sides of the card just make one single crochet into each stitch then you arrive here and we do the same four single crochet increase four single crochet increase and uh, four single crochet and then here without increase so just here, after four single crochet, you make two increases. All the same like we did here. So we just go for now like this. And then we meet here and I explain again. So now I'm here at the windows again and just make four single crochet. One, two, three, four and an increase and then make four single crochet and then increase again and go without increase one single crochet into each stitch and we meet here at the beginning so right now we have two rows with the increases and now we are gonna crochet seven rows without increase and you must have 84 stitches like now after row two so 84 stitches for seven rows crochet by yourself hey guys we almost finished i have the car practically ready i hope you too i hope everything is okay the car is in a good shape and your cars are in a good shape here we have um seam on the other hand there is no but i think it's not that important the main thing the car looks very cute and the seam is practically invisible so let's um make the bottom of the car we are going to sew it later so we are starting here at this point and then we crochet and sew it so now you can cut the yarn uh, to find where we have to start the side of the card, the bottom, sorry, you have to put on the other side and as usual find where we had the increase here and then just go down, insert your hook, make 10 single crochet and then crochet back and forth. So just insert your hook and all the same like we did before when we crochet the bumper. So one, two, three, 
like I'm not going to show you because it's very easy just make 10 now I have 10 single crochet I chain one and I make another row of 10 single crochet and like that you have to make 32 single crochet 32 rows of single crochet and it will be a long uh, vertical uh, a long stripe and then we will sew it and fulfill the car so let's meet when your bottom is done so guys I have finished the bottom of the car I have 32 rows but anyway I will leave long tail in case I will have not enough to cover the whole bottom I will crochet a few rows more so just keep the tail long and after that we are going to start to sew together here so basically you can use the tapestry needle and just go like this into both and just do normal stitches and uh, sew both sides of the car then there will be the small space here in front and here so wait you must put the markers so the same like uh, we watch the same stitch like on the other side and then just go go down and here leave 10 stitches on the corners like this and you sew just until one corner and then until another one and we meet when the the car is almost done we have just to make the wheels and uh, we are going to make the lights so i'm leaving the long tail well i'm not so good at sewing the thing so i think i will just go with the normal stitch you know just going with the both loops and making the things like this here one row and there one row if you did everything right you must have 32 uh, 32 chains stitches and uh, that's it and sew them together oh again I took the too long needle you must take smaller one the one that suits you and just go like this I just wanted to show you you must just go back and forth like that that and that that's it or you can use other stitch if you prefer the one that you are more comfortable with and we meet here where you have to leave the 10 stitches so my car is ready now unfortunately it doesn't fit all in camera because I used uh, chunky yarn so you can see each stitch better but at the same time I can show you the full car up, uh, I put it before on the preview of the video so you can see because now it's impossible to show but now we are going to make the windows and it's super easy we just go from one corner to another we make window in the middle and uh, we are gonna have the wheels so for the wheels it's super easy you're going to work with any color you want I use black and white you can use whatever and I have 10 single crochet in magic green and then I make one single crochet one increase into each stitch so I show you how to start and then I think it's super easy you just make a magic ring grab your yarn make a loop and make 10 single crochet one two 
and you continue until you have 10. Then you pull the yarn and change the color and make one single crochet one increase and you will have to make four wheels. And then I just show you the windows and the car is done. So now let's make windows. Just put at the, any corner of your car and let the yarn go. Then pull. Leave the tail, later we can hide it. And now you must find the central stitch. We have an increase of three single crochet. You must just go where you have the central one and pull the yarn. So it's one time. Then we have eight single crochet here. You must just go to the center. So you just count. And after four, I have counted and now I just sorry, not like that. I just go from here to the center and let my needle go. Then just go down and then you find another central stitch here where you had an increase. So you do the same on the other side. So you have one and one here and you must do the same on the other side put now the needle here go to the central stitch in the middle and in the central stitch and then we just can glue or sew the wheels guys i have finished with the cream color car but it's too big and i cannot fit to show you the car how it looks like how it looks like yeah and uh, this one is a red car with the same pattern but is smaller i use smaller size yarn so you can change the size of the car by changing the hook size and the yarn size it's very cute uh, very fast to crochet and i hope you will like the next video i will show you how to crochet the small christmas tree to put on top of the car you can use it also um, not when it's Christmas time and just use it as a toy for your kid because um, if you sew the, thing, the wheels you can even use for newborn because it's just yarn and nothing uh, dangerous for the baby you must just sew the wheels but I'm using the glue because it's just for Christmas to decorate with the tree and uh, that's it for today. I hope you subscribe to my channel and see you again.